I fucking hate TV! <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, and welcome to Battle Week Day number 3! Today we're taking a look at Chroma Squad, it is going to be a full review, because it is a Friday, as per usual, even though it is a special little Battle Weeky thing that we're doing. So, Chroma Squad is uh, not as fighty in, in the way that most things in Battle Week have been. It's more of a tactical RPG, I'll say that much. So... You'll start out in your uh, headquarters here, and you can select your actors. Actors have different skills. Uh, the lead is more of a tank, wearing the red suit. And currently my lead has a plus 15% audience per episode, but minus 1 movement and minus 10 attack. So uh, he's a pretty boy, but he, he can't do much in a fight. There's a shop here, you can buy... Uh, rather nice quantity of things, uh, weapons as well. But, you can also go to the crafting menu and you'll pick up some items such as tape and polyester and leather and plastic and you'll be able to slap those together into additional items. You can recycle items on this screen and it gives you a chance to uh, salvage something from it. So I only got one piece of tape back from that. I guess also fitting in with equipment and stuff would be your mech, who gets a variety of skills. This is a reload skill that I have now, as well as a sword strike. What else? What else? You can upgrade your studio and all this, get some uh, health care for more HP and stuff like that. Workbench, if you uh, enjoy the crafting. I have not done that just yet. I might... yeah, bigger studio. Okay. Why not? And then finally, you have uh, marketing, which there are a variety of different agencies that you can pick. Social Dave, he's just got spam on social network, review on niche website. I'm Social Dave, dude. Social Dayton is what they should call it. <laughs> uh, mad folks, a little old school. You can get commercial breaks and stuff like that. Mailing lists, selling t-shirts, cooler vehicles, and they all have their uh, different bonuses at the bottom. Fan conversion rates and whatnot. Right now I'm using Toys R Fans, basically because it's giving me just raw cash, and I can actually use uh, another fan power, so let's let's activate um, that one. Yes. So now we're getting an extra $800 per episode, which is really, really sweet. Marketing agent is a must. People will write you, you can respond to them. Oh, I want, uh, blah blah, a raise. Fine. So once you're ready and done fiddling with all these options and such, you can go and record an episode. You will have a choice of which episode you can record, which is pretty interesting. You can play through the game a couple of different ways, at the very least. And we're, we'll pick this one. Keep all heroes standing. Defeat four enemies in the same turn. Alright. So... It does go by speed, basically, it, the scout's gonna go first, but you can pick whichever one you like, if uh, that's your thing. Uh, once you're done moving, after the first move, boop, you have a choice to attack somebody, move again, or you can hit this teamwork button, which will allow you to basically uh, combo up on other characters. So, I'll hit teamwork with my support character. We'll switch to the beaver guy and uh, try and team up on this guy. Boosh! There, double hit right there. So, it's really, really useful to use teamwork. And she's not going to quite kill this guy, you can tell. So, teamwork again. And we're going to move the lead into position. Boosh! Very nice. And the black one is the assault class, so she could probably take him out by herself. Boom! Pretty clean, pretty clean. Uh-oh. That guy's getting his shit pushed in up there. Oh, buddy! So, Beeves is knocked out for one round. But that is just fine. I'm gonna move the assault class over here and set up the teamwork. So I can actually throw the leader. She can th throw the people up to two spaces because she's the assault class, the stronger one. Um, so I'm gonna throw this dude over here, and 
he's gonna smack that guy for me. Hopefully take some of the attention off the poor little beaver. Who, uh, might get his shit kicked in. We'll get some support going there. Combo up. Boosh! Very nice. We're not gonna be able to defeat four enemies in the same turn, unfortunately. But, uh... Progression is the name of the game. Especially since I have Claude on my team. Um... He's a bit more... A bit more useful for, uh... Mistakes like that. Not following the director's instructions and whatnot. Which I tend to do a lot. I will keep all of my heroes standing. Which is good. So we'll see if we can teamwork up on this guy. I think we can. Double attack! Blah! That's right, we are the protectors of Earth. Boosh! Every battle you can uh, chromatize, if necessary. Which turns your <laughs> fucking 28 year old teenagers into a fighting force to be reckoned with. So I'm gonna go ahead and move Beaver over here and fucking hit all these dudes with a uh, multi shot. Multi shot! Ba -ba 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 -ba! Just wrecked. Absolutely wrecked! You can't stand in the way. Got some glitter. Some glitter! We can make a new helmet with our glitter. <laughs> Boosh. The gameplay seems really simplistic, but. Fuck, he's healing himself. As you go further and further in the game, it gets more and more complex. I'm gonna fucking sword this guy. Sword! Oh, he countered, but I dodged! I'm awesome! Punch that guy to death. Yes! And we got some glass shards. I'm gonna come over here, roundhouse these fuckers in the face. Moose! Or square house, I guess. Oh, I got dodged. I got dodged. Not, not today. Okay. So here comes the TV telemonster. And he's not doing much damage at all to my guys. Except now we can't do the finishing move. Because that guy's fucking stunned. So I'm gonna stun the TV. Or daze him, as the case may be. And, uh, we'll come over here. A little more teamwork. Team teamwork in the house. What the fuck's up? Set this shit off. Chroma power! Jadoosh. That's such a blatant ripoff of the Power Ranger shit. <laughs> Alright! We didn't hit him every turn. God damn it. It's time to go all Mecha. Oh yeah! Mecha like a Muslim, son! Mecha like a Muslim! Alright, so you can attack as much as you like, but your combo meter goes down and you have less of a chance to hit him every time you attack. So I usually go for like three hits and like 67% is enough for me to back off. And then you have to do this defensey thing, which awesome isn't the best you can do. You can do perfect, I think. Perfect! Yeah! And that's how you really stay on your feet. Oh god. I wish I could knock him down. We can't do it. Do this shit now! Oh, we're gonna have to eat the special attack. Fuck! That wasn't so bad. Yeah! They've got like three life bars. <laughs> it's fucking kind of ridiculous. Oh no. It's going so bad. Yes, I need perfect defense. Perfect defense forever! Ugh. Punch him! Punch him again! Punch him one more time! God damn it. Oh no! Ugh. Use the audience to boost our health! Alright, we're fucking back in this thing for the moment. Fingers fucking crossed. Hit him with that sword shit. Wah! Trick? Oh, it works so good with the audience boost. Whew. We got lots of glitter, lots of acrylic paint, some glass shards. And uh, now our fans and 
money total is tallied. I did not do very well because I missed a couple of objectives. Um, but I do like the little tweets from everybody too. <laughs> so now we will go craft some things and uh, pray to RN Jesus and get ready for the next episode. And it just repeats and obviously the story is getting a little bit more crazy because it's slipping from the studio into real life. Ah! Just like my fucking video game reviewing stuff. <laughs> it's starting to mesh. So, I think Chroma Squad is an absolutely fantastic game. It's a little bit simplistic, but uh, we'll get into that in my score breakdown. I've given the controls a 6 out of 10. While they're completely usable, uh, I do wish some things were hotkeyed so I wasn't pointing and clicking the entire time. Uh, because although it is a decent interface, it's not optimal um, for repeated interaction. <laughs> the fun factor, I've still given it a 9 out of 10. It's an extremely fun game. It takes a very, very long time in order to get tired of it. Definitely. The difficulty is an 8 out of 10. Um, I think it could be spiced up a little bit more. But near the end, it's definitely uh, as brutal as they come and every move starts to matter. Even though uh, the gameplay is deceptively simple, you're like, oh, well, this character doesn't seem that specialized. It is. <laughs> Keep your tank in the front. <laughs> um, replayability, 7 out of 10. You can rebuild your squad in a few different ways. There are different episodes to play through, so I think it's fair to give that game this uh, a bit of an above average score uh, for the replay replayability. The innovation, I've given a 10 out of 10. I have not seen a Sentai strategy RPG. It's really interesting to me. And I really like the sense of humor and just really everything about the game. It's it's an amazing experience. Definitely. The graphics I've given a 9 out of 10. Obviously the style fits. Everything's really well defined. I never found myself questioning what that is. Can I walk on top of it, etc. Uh, it was always really, really clear what was uh, designated for me and what was just part of the environment. And I appreciate that, especially in a game with retro graphics, sometimes it's a little hard to tell. In uh, the music department, I've given a 10 out of 10. Just listen to this jam. I mean, I'm not a weeaboo, but maybe I kind of am, because this, this, it like grabs me inside my soul, and it's like, remember all those years in Japan? And I'm like, yeah, I do. That was the best. <laughs> the best! California's cool. Japan's way more awesome. Uh, I digress. The sound effects I've given an 8 out of 10. I think everything's a little generic. Punch, punch, punch. But it serves its purpose well. Um, especially things like do, 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 do. You know, they've got their own little Power Rangers theme. What was the actual Power Rangers do, 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 or something like that, and it's just like slight tonal change. It's pretty funny to me. <laughs> the story is a 7 out of 10. They did insert some SJW messages at the beginning, and I was like, I don't think I want to play this anymore. But uh, it might have been tongue in cheek, perhaps. I'm not quite sure about that. But aside from that, uh, the story is pretty good. Uh, it kept me guessing till the end. Um, and I've given it a 7 out of 10. The level design, I've given a 6 out of 10. While some levels are extremely ex inspired, like there's a, a dock level that I really, really like, uh, a lot of them are just a generic, here's uh, your set. You know what I mean? It's, it's not... Uh, there's no trees or anything. It's just it's just a big, a big blank uh, nothing. Uh, as... Uh, Jeff Goldblum would say, uh, but, but, uh, I've still decided to give Chroma Squad, uh, uh, an 80 out of 100. Yes, Chroma Squad is a fantastic game, probably one of the highest, uh, that I've rated thus far. Gameplay is so simple that a child could do it, but once you get into the late, later levels, it's just, like, so complex that you will have to sleep overnight on it. And I really appreciate that. It's an extremely well-constructed game. I'm so glad it got kickstarted. And on top of all of that, I appreciate Behold Studios for giving indie game bundles and Dayton Does a chance to put this game 
through its passives. So, I believe I've rambled on enough. This has been Chroma Squad. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I hope that if you did enjoy, you will like, comment, and or subscribe. And until the next time, friends. Bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye. See you again. Goodbye, goodbye. See. You